Okay. And if you this is actually going to get on the way. Here we go. Let's hope that we can hold out for an entire 15 Countdown minutes. Countdown stopped. We're on Hub Aero Q3. These two need no introduction at all. Cooler versus CZM here on Hub. And uh, you know, we, we've given the history once toss, but it's quite simple. USA versus Russia. Here is probably one of the greatest uh, Quake 3 tournaments of this year. And here we go, three, two, one. Fight, and yes, we are inside this game. CZM following him. He is gonna grab, whoa, it just switched views on me. Uh, there we go, okay, CZM over by the red armor. He's gonna drop down, uh, he picks up the rocket launcher. He's got plenty of, uh, of ammo, and he does get hit with some nice shaft there by Cooler. 20 seconds now on the clock. It's 122.50 for CZM, but no score yet. Cooler really has to win this map if he wants a chance. Now, that doesn't mean that if he doesn't win it, uh, he, he cannot win, but that would be a huge defeat. And we're going to see Cooler get the first frag of the game on himself. Blowing himself up, trying to make a rocket jump up to the red armor. He's now down to negative 144 points. Of, and listen, already the fans are very happy about that. The first real frag of the game goes to CZM at the 49 second mark. One to negative one. A fantastic pressure by CZM. He's trying to connect right now. Misses a rail, unlike CZM to uh, to miss a rail like that. Cooler right in front of him. We're one minute in this game toss. And right now the score one to negative one. Is that foreshadowing to what we're gonna see here? Well, yes it is. CZM following up with a rail on Cooler right there. And now it's a question of whether Cooler can just stop the onslaught. Because already oh, CZM, double oh! rocket in the face. Chew on that. I've and got now... a clap for that one. A double aerial rocket. That one will make frag movies, no doubt, three to negative one. And now it's a question of whether Cooler can simply hold his nerve at negative one. Uh, you know, Cooler is sporting that GGL hat. It will give them extraterrestrial powers. Uh, so, you know, who will bet against that? I, I, I've said it. I tried to take it away from him, and he just no, no, no. Nice rocket there by Cooler, though. CZM's going to follow up with the shaft, but he's down to 89 points. Now, Cooler now trying to get that machine gun kill, and he Whoa. does. Very nice as CZM drops down to the bottom level, looking for a conversion frag here against CZM. Almost gets in CZM, but for 14 points of health, but he gets the frag. It's 5 to 0, but nice to see Cooler. Leaving the negative. Yes, it is. Cooler though, with just 8 HP, could be uh, if he drops, he'll be right back down there, but he's not. He's going to chase CZM with a rail, but the LG will come out from CZM, and uh, it was just a game of cat and mouse, and that mouse had only 8 HP. Cooler with the machine gun just spiking across towards. Um, towards CZM, down to 28 HP, going for the red armor, not going to get it, and CZM will strike down upon him. 7-0, to zero. Cooler needs to get some frags up there on the board. He does land a nice rocket down by the green armor on CZM, dropping him down to about 14 points of health. Luckily for him, he picks up 225, an excellent rail by CZM across the map, and that's what I expected to see. He must be warm now. 2 minutes, 47 Ooh. seconds on the clock, and Cooler's going to get a frag. Can he convert? He takes the jump pad in the lightning gun, red armor room, and he's going to try to hold off CZM and grab it. He does grab it and gets a conversion frag. 7-2 to two now, and for the three-minute mark, who is going to grab the yellow armor, looking for CZM, think he's down by the yellow, fires the rocket, finds nice. him on the Mega Health stand, and before the Mega Health spawn, he takes him out once again, 7-3. to three. Cooler's giving CZM a game here. The Mother Russia Cooler is just going to hold on and press down with the LG, and will connect with CZM this time. He question is, can he get the conversion by CZM in a minute? We'll go back through a teleporter, chase the CZM down, finally nice. gets an LG. Cooler's back in this game, and Hub may not be a game, just for the Americans. Well, it may not. And you know what? Uh, there have been some oh, wow. folks who have said, I think Cooler's kind of making himself not look as good on Hub as he actually is. Oh, Will it be oh, proven yeah. here? It may be. We got a tie game. Cooler takes the lead for the second time this tournament. CZM, the one who is thought to be unbeatable here on Hub, has taken or ha is losing. And Cooler grabs two more. It is now 10 to 7. CZM all of a sudden, I've got to wonder what in the heck is going through his head. Well, pull down your console and you will see just what happened. Cooler just erupted in front of our eyes and now has finally been uh, been stopped. That volcano has been plugged back up just temporarily as uh, we wait to see CZM. Oh, there! Oh! 
double rocket under the wall. Ghoul will get converted as well, wow. and he might lose the. You know, he'll lose his lead. All down to his own. Uh, all down to his own shots. Uh, he he may here as we're now down to a one point game. Cooler trying to fire through the doorway on the upper level. He misses one rocket and then smashes himself in the face of the second rocket. And CGM wow. now trying to get the control back, but Cooler with a nice aerial rail dropping it down on top of his head. Ten to eight with four minutes and thirty two seconds on the clock. And here we go, another battle in the Lightning Gun Red Armor Room. CZM's gonna grab that one. Still looking at a loss here for CZM. He's down by one frag. He does some damage on himself as well. Trying to see if Cooler's gonna come through that teleporter. Goes up to the top level, then back down to the Mega Stand. It should be coming up soon, but an interesting display of skills here by Cooler. Really playing quite well. 10-9 to 9, CZM down by one frag. Can Cooler keep it up? Or will CZM tie it? And there it is, over by the Green Armor Kelly. He takes him out and looking for the conversion. There it is, five minutes, seven seconds. CZM has the lead once again. Kula hasn't had a rocket in about ten, in about a minute right now, and uh, there will be. All he'll have is CZM's rocket leaving uh, leaving a few stains and some plaque between the teeth as uh, he'll hold off it. Just try to dodge CZM. Nice. Rail midair as he drops down. Cooler is in trouble now as CZM is going to push for that conversion. And Cooler blows oh, himself up no. again, trying to go through the teleporter, I think possibly firing a rocket after he went through, but CZM didn't even let him go. 13 to 9, now this is for CZM looking for that uh, conversion frag, and he drops down to the bottom level, does not land that rail, but goes back to the teleporter, finds it again, nice flick, it's 14 to 9, as CZM losing control, he obviously doesn't like to be in that position, and when we saw him lose control earlier today, he was able to get it back very quickly, he's now down to 37 points. Boy, Kel Cooler putting on the pressure with the shaft. Down to 13 now, but Cooler cannot finish him off. It's 15 to 9, but he is in a critical situation. 38 for 125, and Cooler does land the rocket to take him out, making it 15 to 10. We'll see if he can keep some control. He has to now because uh, with a five frag difference between the two players, he needs this one urgently. Rocket in hand. 67 HP will make his way down. Spy CZM up at the red armor. Spawn CZM will land a hunt. Just a couple of uh, LG shots. Tries to go for the jump up to the Mega. He will back away. And uh, Cooler now will make his way around to the back of that red armor. CZM still with the LG. Just powering Cooler away. And he's had to retreat. He has had to retreat. And he's down to 38 points of health. At one point he had control. And now he's playing a dance game outside the Celly. CZM's going to pick that one up. He's regained control. Has the Mega. 148. He does get hit with a nice rocket from Cooler from up above. And a return rocket by CZM. Nice prediction there. We're at the 7 minute mark. The score is 17. To 10, and Fox isn't going to be the only one to get cooler. Or excuse me, CZM, a fantastic game here on Hub. No, he's not cooler. Won't say die. He won't submit, and we'll keep coming back with these important frags. Right when you look like CZM, it might take this one, but he'll hold off. Rail in hand. CZM just teasing him as he hits through that uh, teleporter, moving away. Now there's the rocket. CZM out for the count. He will <laughs> get that conversion frag, and CZM now is in a world of trouble. If Cooler can mount this LG, no, he can't. Wow. Midair rocket from CZM. Back in control. So close. The Mega Health was up. Cooler really could have used that one. Unfortunately, he couldn't get his hands on it. CZM's going to bounce him up over near the Lightning Gun and land a mid air rocket. 19 to 12 is the score. Still in favor of CZM switching over to his view. Up on the top level, firing rockets at Cooler. Cooler returning with some grenades. He does some damage versus CZM, but not a whole lot. And now the score is 20 to 12, an eight frag lead there for Cooler. But he is still holding on. He's showing no signs of slowdown. CZM down to 12 points to help, but he's still going to wait for CZM, or for Cooler to drop down from that red armor to land the rail. He misses it, however, and man, Cooler is just returning all fire back and forth, 20 to 12. He wants control because he knows that's the only way he's going to rack up those points, and he needs eight frags versus his opponent. He's got about less than seven minutes in order to do so. He does. CZM will come in with a rail through the jail bars, and now Cooler is in a bad position here. CZM will pick up that red gift shape and uh, will connect with the rail. CZM just saw just a pixel of Cooler and connected that time LG as well and now Cooler just cannot get control back in this but what's interesting is this is not Cooler's oh nice LG and now is his opportunity this is not Cooler's style of play here we haven't seen him play this way at all before and he changed his you know for hub for CZM knowing that his defensive style just won't work and, and that's why I was saying maybe he was 
just not letting on to actually how much he has practiced this Ooh. map. A very risky thing to do in a tournament like ESWC, but, you know, that is Cooler's style of play. Now, a Cooler did get the lead, or he did get the control back there only momentarily, though. It's 24 to 10, but still a 10-point game. Make it an 11-point game as CCM lands a nice frag outside, but Cooler's going to get it back. 73 points out. Is the red armor going to spawn soon? He knows where CCM is going for that. Mega Mega is up. CZM's going to assault. Cooler's LG comes down, but he's just not quick enough for CZM. He's making all the right moves. He drops down once again. That red should be up soon. Oh, and CZM misses the jump. Cooler lands the rail. He's going to try to follow up with some LG. Down to 32 points health. Now 15, and now he's going to fire his rail once again, but CZM can hear the hum of that rail gun. He's not going to fall for that oh. one, and he does kill him with the splash damage on the wall. 26 to 15. He is not one. Uh, he wants to keep a 10 frag deficit between him and Cooler, 26-15, 9 minutes, 46 seconds on the clock, and we're about to hit the 5-minute warning. It really is all or nothing for Cooler soon. It is very easy to get frags quickly on this map, but with CZM in such a buoyant mood here, he's just taking uh, Cooler up, taking Cooler to town, and uh, as Cooler will make a move on that branch, no, look who's lying away from it, CZM down to 27 HP as Cooler, Rail comes in from CZM, misses that time, Rocket will do the job, and Cooler down, and it is 10 frags, a di well, more than 10 frags a difference now. Some nice dodging there by cooler but CGM still landed the rocket to take him out 29 to 15 now is the score less than five minutes left to go CGM continuing to roll up the conversion frag with no problems whatsoever and uh, although it looked like he may have had some trouble early on cooler taking the lead almost making it eight to six uh, then nine to six and then CGM shut him down quick 29 15 CGM going to retreat on through cooler could get the frag here as he drops down no CGM crater but he still gets the frag putting him back to square one 29 to 15 Excellent work there by CZM and Cooler. Unfortunately, there's not much that uh, CZM could do versus the ground, and that's what the crater is all about. 30 to 15 now as we have a double score here by CZM. Oh, wow. But Cooler jumping up on the staircase, railing him off 30 to 16 as CZM stood on that red armor, and he is going to be able to steal it away. There's no hope of a GG here. Cooler will not give up until the fat lady is singing. He holds off. There's uh, CZM to dr drop down straight in front of him. Rocket coming to exchange and fire here. CZM back up on top. It goes through the teleporter. Will dodge away. Nice. Lies in wait for Cooler as he goes through that TP. And will Cooler will knock him out. And CZM is always showing his very, very impressive, almost psychic abilities here on Hub. As we just saw right there, firing at every single uh, tell or every single spawn point around him. He happened to hit the right one. He's going to pull the shaft out of here on the Mega Health Perk. He's really low, but still, CZM wins the battle. He's got 21 points of health, and he is saved by that Mega. 11 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. This game is most certainly going to go to CZM, but it's still exciting to the finish because, just as you said, he won't give up. Cooler will keep on at it because that's how he's got it. He's got to be in this mode for the final. He's got to be psyched up. He's got to know that every point counts, every frag is important, and he's got exactly the right, that right mentality. He'll drop down 17 HP. Cooler cannot uh, cannot afford to get in CZM's way right now. He does. Rocket comes through, and Cooler will hit the deck, and CZM will extend his lead. 12 minutes, 15 seconds on the clock. Just under three minutes left to go. 35 to 16. I believe our next map will be Pro Q3 DM6. And CZM takes a rocket to the face. The second one to the foot. And another one to the foot. That one's going to take him out. Cooler with four consecutive rockets. And he is now has 17 frags. It's not going to be enough. But he is going to at least try to hit 20. There's another conversion there. Making it 35-18. And realistically, I do not believe it, it is possible for Cooler right now. But like you said, he's just not going to give up right now. He's got 74 health and uh, a, a 34 armor and gets in a nice LG battle there with CZM. Does not get that conversion frag. 35 to 20, 15 frags separating these two and a less than two minutes left to go. Yeah, CZM just getting caught with his uh, pants down there as he couldn't decide which weapon and Cool will just finish him off. Now CZM will go for that green armor. Will connect, blowing away for one another. Cool will get that frag. He's converted the last four and uh, now it's a question of whether CZM can actually get back into this because right now, Cooler has control, Cooler has all the cards, and it's only that huge lead that CZM has the map uh, that is keeping him in, the, in touch. You know, if Cooler could have gone this berserk Conan rampage earlier on in the game, maybe we could have seen a closer score, but uh, it's almost too little too late. He's going to make his way over to the Mega right as he gets popped with that pineapple. He gets the Mega, and that saved his life. He would have been down to about three points of health. 
13.41 on the clock, less than a minute and 20 seconds left to go. Cooler using the teleporter to evade a nice rocket from down below by CZM. He's going to go back to the red armor room, pick up that LG, get some more cells, grab the red armor, and he knows it's over. But he is going to keep it up. He's got to stay in that mentality. He's got to know that, hey, I can't slow down my game. I've, I've warmed up. I cannot get cold. And uh, I've got to take CZM to task as much as I possibly can. And you know what? CZM, he's, he, I'm sure he expects to own it up on Hub. So if Cooler can give him a good game, what does that do for his confidence level going into C, uh, DM6? Exactly that. And the fact is, Cooler can take away this small piece of pride. Well, in the last two minutes, I would actually be winning. And he can take that. You know, you ended the map very strongly. You just got that rocket price there on TZM. And he can build on that. You know, every positive is something he can take into that next map. And uh, every negative is something he can use against CZM. Now, he will lie and wait with it. You know, one thing that always amazes me is that, you know, Cool and CZM, they're so frantically, uh, frantically trying nice. to get control, but they still have time for these nice little binds uh, to spam oh. out nice smiley face and so on. Right, right, exactly, and it's become more and more of a, a great free trend, you know, it wasn't that they, these guys used to do it all the time, and now it just seems to be one of those things that uh, you just go ahead and do, and in the last moments of the game, we have a little bit of lag on the GTV, but we made it all the way through, hallelujah! Hooray! We're going to be switching on over to, I believe, Q3 DM6, the final score of that one, 38 to 22 in favor of CZM. We're switching to uh, Pro Q3 DM6. Uh, as CZM says, hope it's going to be okay. So, I know you guys aren't going to like this, but I have I have a feeling Cooler is going to take this map. Oh. I, I know. Bold statement. I'll put up the riot shields here. We're going to count down 3, 2, 1, oh. Hey, and, he's back. Uh, our German friend uh, is back. Oh. He comes, this is our bad luck charm right here. We just had 15 minutes of perfection, and he walked back and it breaks. Oh dear, but we do have one. No, there we go. here we're back we go. On. 16 seconds in, we're we're back in it, and uh, well, I, I don't I don't know if I've I may only have cooler view, so let me just try one thing here. Uh, we are on actually a delayed stream as well, so if you were synced up on GTV as well. A slight, uh, a, there, there is a possibility of a slight delay, but uh, as always, Master Wheat here has uh, you know, worked his way uh, into the camera plan position. Well, so I don't know. It, it, it just restarted me there, and uh, I, I'm really not sure. I, you may have to have Cooler as a view for the entire game. I hope you're well, okay with that. I have a different view to you. So oh, we're, we're off. We're off by a little just bit. Just grab the we'll, yellow we'll, online. We'll go ahead. You did, let's let's not pay attention to this. Let's look at what we got here. It finally switched over to see. Ah, oh, there we go. We got views back. Nice. It's one to negative one, guys. I said it before the map start. I thought that Cooler was going to take this one. I wish I knew how CZM lost a frag, whether it was a crater or blowing himself up or maybe even the most humiliating of them all. Melting yourself with the plasma gun. <laughs> One minute, 48 seconds on the clock. We're going to have a fight here over the Mega Health. And CZM comes out on top, out of the negatives now. In fact, he's down to 100 points of health. And CZM's going to pick up a conversion frag right there over near the column of DM6. He's got 69.50. But look at that. Cooler comes right back, making it 2 to 1 now. He's going to hop on over and grab the rail. He wants to keep that away from CZM. And he drops over and grabs the red. Two minutes and 13 seconds now on the clock. A nice rail by Cooler from behind, and he even spams his smileys right there as CZM is in a little bit of hurt with 108.25, but he's not down and out yet. Let's see what he can do, even though Cooler has a little bit more control over CZM on Pro Q3 DM6. CZM on the middle level, working it very nicely. It's 2-1. to one. He's got 25 points of armor. He's going to see Cooler go for that red armor, and he's going to play the rail game with him. We're going to see Cooler grab that red armor and rocket jump up to the rail bridge, and that's going to allow CZM CZM to at least grab a few shards outside of the LG room and possibly take away that Mega Health, but no, as he goes up the jump pack, Cooler comes out, pulls out his LG and gets an easy frag versus CZM, 3 to 1 now, and he played this great versus Socrates, he played it great versus Fox, and uh, well, 
He's playing it great so far versus CZM. LG battle going on out here. They'll just back away. CZM was almost going to get that one. 28 HP. But Cooler will take a three frag advantage now. And the question is... Does CZM have it in him to come back now? Now Cooler's taking control. Cooler has shown that he can come back. But, you know, in all honesty, we haven't seen CZM up against the wall. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Toss, you're absolutely right. It's, it's, it's really amazing, man. Right. Uh, oh. uh, 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 wow, <laughs> you're right, Toss. Uh, it, so uh, it, it is. It's true. CZM doesn't often find himself in a losing situation. I mean, granted, he's lost games before, obviously. But uh, in a major tournament oh, wow. like that, he's had a lot of success. <laughs> a great rail by CZM, and there's one clap from the crowd on that one. <laughs> as Cooler is still in the lead by two, let's switch over to his view. He's only got 26 points of health, so, uh, he, you know, he sacrificed a lot to get that one frag. We're about to hit the four minute mark. CZM's gonna recover with the 25 and lucky for him that railgun is still down in the mega health. He didn't have to go up to the bridge. He didn't have to sacrifice himself in order to grab that thing and that actually was a mistake, a big mistake by Cooler. Yeah because he's also picked up the rail ammo and is now in a great position with 175 and 36 making his way towards that rail armor. Cooler will spam down the plasma shots. Rail armor spawns. Cooler is lying in wait above CZM from below and it's very much that dual type thing. One gun to strike any to any moment now. 72 HP of CZM that will back away and concede the red, but will happily collect that yellow. 72 and 50. And CZM now taking a barrage of uh, fire from Cooler, but he's still up and he's still counting. And you just wonder how much it, without, how much that rocket did to, uh, to Cooler. Well, let's take a look. He's at 87, 124 on the middle level, still up by three frags, about to hit the five minute mark. He's got eight rockets, the Mega Health uh, spawns. He's gonna jump up the jump pad, grab another rocket launcher. Actually, he didn't grab the rocket launcher. It was not there. So he's gonna head on over to the yellow armor and look at, it's there. And that's the second time this, this tournament that I have seen Cooler miss that jump. It's really not that difficult of a jump, so I'm surprised. I don't know if it's nerves. I don't know if it's just, you know, being cautious in case CZM's ready for a race but he has missed it twice this tournament. Yeah. Five to two now, is it what? These guys, they do everything, and he misses a jump twice, and you decide to say, hey, oh, hey, you that. know what? Yeah. I can make that jump. <laughs> it's easy to me, so if I can make it, Cooler should be doing it backwards with his, you know, one hand behind his back. and Spamming his smileys. Exactly. <laughs> so five minutes, 30 seconds, six to two. Cooler did pick up another frag there. Oh, there he goes. He made it okay. <laughs> ah! The yellow armor is up and taken by Cooler. He's going to go on over. CZM getting nailed by a rocket there as he stands on the red armor first. I think Cooler is thinking about going over and grabbing that uh, rail gun, but he doesn't. He sees CZM making an advance over on the Mega Health, and he's going to head back over to the yellow armor once again. And uh, see, it's uh, now he's going to make it every single time that I said something. There's the six-minute clock, and we got nine minutes left in this match. Cooler is in the lead, and I don't know what the decider is, but uh, we may see. The LG coming out from cool and now CZM just above him on the uh, on the bridge wall. Holton back away towards the rocket. Now CZM jumps down, connects with the frag. 6-2. LG from CZM. He is unable to convert though. And uh, will go through the mega health room. Pulls out the plasma, spies cooler down on the uh, just above that red armor. Will make his way across, pick up that rail, and uh, will just wait in line as uh, he moves around. You know, he was unable to convert on this map, and when you do, it's really a great thing because DM6 is very difficult to convert on. You typically have to work for your frags very, very hard, especially when you've got two players like CZM and Cooler playing in a championship final. Six minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. CZM misses that rail, and Cooler gets a whole lot of lightning gun damage on his opponent, but CZM is going to recover on that one by picking up that yellow armor and now making his way over to the red. Another shaft battle comes out, but CZM runs out of cell, and even I, I believe that Cooler did as well because he ended up firing with this machine Gun. CZM's gonna drop back, grab a 25, and try to score so he can get that mega health. It is up, and CZM's gonna drop some strategically placed rockets. Oh, wow. But that's the one danger about being on the middle level. You gotta watch out for that head splash damage that you can do with the rocket launcher. And Cooler is now up 7 to 3. He's got an aerial assault on CZM one more time, and there's the red armor for Cooler. Was it a mistake for CZM to be so addicted to getting that red that he went into a, uh, uh, to get the mega, that he went into a position where, uh, you know, he was not gonna win that battle and yes he missed the jump yes he missed the jump and uh, I, I, I'm not 
100% sure if that was necessarily a mistake on CZM's part. You know, uh, he, he tried to regain control. Maybe he made a miscalculation, even though he is a mathematician. And, uh, <laughs> it, it, you know, Cooler just got the, the jump on him. So he's going to get the jump on him one more time with the red armor. And CZM better hope that spawns. And I don't think it did because he's got five points of health and four armor right now in a whole world of hurt. As Cooler's going to head over to the red armor, he sees CZM there. If CZM would have come there one millisecond sooner, he probably would have jumped down and Cooler would have gotten the frag. So he's lucky that time. Eight minutes and 15 seconds is still seven to three. Somewhat of a low scoring game on DM6, but I expect to see this type of defensive uh, work and wow. exciting game for uh, Cooler and CZM. He grabs one more over by the Red Armor. Eight minutes, 30 seconds. Toss your thoughts on the game so far. Well, I think Cooler's just gonna take, oh wow, what a rail there, dropping down to that bottom level in the Mega Room, and he will get that as his prize. Uh, Cooler will be more than happy with the way things are going right now. He took the confidence from Hub. He's playing his game on this map, and now we have uh, Blah. We have CZM hitting the deck there. Cooler gonna get the conversion as well. That's two LGs oh. in a row for Cooler. He'll wait, he'll just hold off, change the spawn time of the uh, red armor, and we'll be very happy with the way this is progressing. Nine minutes now on the clock. He grabbed it on the nine, so it's easier for him to time, and it's gonna throw CZM off. But as soon as he does hear that red armor sound, he'll know exactly what the time is. A great mid-level frag there by Cooler. Starting out with this rocket launcher, finishing up with the rail. He's gonna get another one as CZM spawns. He he tries to fake CZM out there, and he makes a very risky move. Double rocket jumps from the pentagram to the middle level, then up to the yellow armor, but he finds CZM. He knew he was trapped down there, and it's now 13 to 3, a 10 frag lead. What do you guys think of Cooler now? Oh, yeah, there's no playing, booze, no he's booze this time. He's playing pretty good, he's playing pretty good as we see Cooler. He's going to change the time once again. 13 to 3 is the score. Uh, and CZM in just about 15 seconds is going to have 5 minutes left to regain 10 frags. Well, you know, this is the point we made earlier. We've not seen CZM with his back to the wall, and the response is none too impressive. Well, uh, uh, you know, what is he going to do? Cooler is playing a fantastic game here on DMC. Okay, it's but... certainly been his best map all tournament. And uh, CCM has performed well uh, on this map as well. I mean, DM6 is a map that, you know, my wife knows DM6, you know? I mean, it's it's just one of those things everyone knows. I would actually honestly expect CCM to be a little bit better, but I just think Cooler, uh, I think he's in the right frame of mind for this for this particular game. But then CCM himself is in the right frame of mind for Hub, as he has been all Absolutely. tournaments. And if Cooler can make a game of it on Hub, but CCM can't here on DM6, then I think that uh, this is a challenging situation for CCM. CZM up top. I think that it's in the head where he has to know back against the wall. He has to somehow get back into that hub feeling when we go into the decider. And I don't know how he's going to do that. It's going to depend a lot on the map pick and we'll find out what that is soon. But 10 minutes, 48 seconds on the clock, just about four minutes remaining. And you can see now Cooler is moving into a more defensive mode. So let's switch over to CZM, see what he's doing. He's totally stacked right now. 140, 198. In fact, that's probably the most powerful that I've seen Cooler, or I've seen CZM in a while. And finally CZM finds oh. Cooler and he gets the frag. Nicely done. You can't hide forever. And that could be a mistake because he picks up a conversion frag. 13 to 5. Cooler may have gone too defensive too soon as CZM's going to get another one. 13 to 6 and all of a sudden it's a 7 point game. Did I say uh, did I say anything bad about CZM just a few minutes ago? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's time to retract that as he comes up with three very quick frags. Follows up with the red armor there and now is on the prowl. Hunting down the rush and the question is whether he can get it. Oh what a rail. Up to the mid level. Cooler coming back down, trying to answer it up with the LG. Grenade coming forward towards him as well. Nice. LG, CZM's back in the game. Nice. He hits another one there on the spawn. I do believe he has to down to 50 points out. He gets another one. 13 to 8. All of a sudden, CZM coming out of his shell. He was a turtle before, and now he is a hare. 11-53, 13 to 8. He only needs five frags to win this one, but can Cooler hold on to it? I think that Cooler made a critical mistake going into a defensive mode in what, 13? Uh, or, what, or what was it about? The 10-minute yeah. mark? Almost the 11-minute mark? Not the smartest thing in the world. Now, CZM did take some damage there down to 103. His opponent at 138, so there's not a huge difference, but the red armor should be up soon. And CZM grabs it and lands a rail. Cooler down to 38 points of health. Let's switch back over to CZM. He's going to take away the yellow armor as well, but he's got to be thinking about that time. He is he is knowing exactly what he can and cannot do uh, with the amount of time that's left. And Cooler is back there. He He's hiding once again in that defensive mode. CZM's going to get it 13-9. Can CZM get down?
down to the LG room. Quick enough, there's Cooler, he gets it! 13-10, huge frag for CZM right there. He's only got 81 points of health, but he finds Cooler once again. He's got nothing but a shotgun, he's gonna be forced to retreat off, and I think that was also a smart move. Three frags in two minutes is a realistic situation. It really is, and I'm eating my words literally when I spoke about CZM not being able to do it back against the wall, because his back's against the wall and he likes it. Oh. What a rail! The CZM connects oh with the God. conversion, he's gonna get it, and wow, what a game we have on our hands here. This could be it, 13 minutes and 14 seconds remaining on the clock. It is 13 to two, CZM has come back from a 10 point deficit. Right now he's got 95 points of health and 100 points of armor. He's only down by one. And you know what, best case scenario here is send this one into sudden death overtime because those are always the best. One minute and 30 seconds left on the clock and CZM now is gonna have the hard task of finding Cooler. Let's check out Cooler's view and see where he is. He's down below by the LG. He's going to the yellow armor, and my guess is that CZM is going to come there next. He does! Oh my wow. gosh! That could have been it for CZM right there. Cooler getting huge shaft damage there on his opponent. CZM down to 92 points of health, and he gave up a lot of health and armor in order to make that rocket jump. Not only with the rocket jump, but also with Cooler getting that nice shaft. Cooler just suddenly reiterating the fact that he is in this game, and with 53 seconds on the clock, CZM grabs that mega, now back out on the prowl, spies the yellow armor, will grab it, and now, and now we'll see yellow, LG battle going out, Cooler will drop down, CZM onto 9 HP, Cooler knows this right above him, rail shot being extended oh! to the towers, Cooler gets it, Cooler strikes back, and we are gonna go. Andy on the faces of the crowd as, as Cooler picks up that frag and may have just stopped CZM from mounting oh. a 10 frag comeback. And he's gonna get another one, making it 15 to two, switching over to Cooler. He finds him down below once again. He's gonna take him out and CZM knew he only had one chance and he gave it up. But yeah, that's what we like to see. Three maps in a finals. Luck, all time rail. Pulls out Cooler, and uh, yeah, CZM, he jump. knows, CZM knows exactly uh, the mistake that he made in that map. That rocket jump cost him so much, but it's such a smart maneuver by Cooler. He's in the lead, you go to the yellow armor, there's three ways to get to it. That jump pad, rocket jumping, or from the uh, rocket launcher curve. Well, if you take the rocket jump, you're gonna do damage to yourself and ha have exactly what was done to by Cooler, where you just get shafted in the air. If you take the jump pad, you're also going to get shafted in the air. And if you take the long way, if your opponent has a rail, you're an easy target. So we're going to be switching to DM13, and what a great way to end this tournament. I like this map. I think it's good. And, uh, well, I don't even know what sort of prediction I could give on this particular map. You think Cooler, Cooler huh? for the win. Wow, wow, Toss. I mean, I, I still got to have some USA pride and, and hope that, you know, CZM can pull it out. But, uh, here we go, three, two, one, fight, and there you have it. We're gonna see Cooler get the good spawn in the mega health and the uh, uh, and the uh, yellow armor room. But look at that, CZM gets oh, no. the frag and blows himself up. We have equalization in the first uh, 15 seconds of this match, and CZM's gonna grab the rocket launcher, go for the red armor. Uh, Cooler did not want that one to happen. CZM, although they were equalized, actually got the better of the two scenarios. Oh yeah, he dropped down right into a 50, followed up with a red. It was a great position for him to fall out to after a mini machine gun battle. Now, CZM will grab another 50, make his way around on the prowl for Cooler. We're at a 0-0 situation here, and uh, despite having a frag apiece, sort of, CZM has, to, has control. And he's at 100, 103, but he gets rocked in the face with a rocket. He's now down to 44, 15. Cooler is at 104, 16, so neither of these guys have a hefty amount of armor. CZM from the middle level pulls out the shaft. He should be able to get it right there. And as Cooler drops down, which is not a smart move, CZM does get it. However, he's at 25 points out. He picks up a 25, 4, 50 right there. There's another 50 on the ledge, but he's not going to grab it yet. There it is. He's back up to 165. Now going to try to defend that mega health room, but gets kicked out by Cooler. 62 points of health. He picks up the 50 down by the teleporter. Looks for that yellow armor, anticipating uh, a Cooler going for it. It's still up, and Cooler does run right into his rocket, but he gets a frag and ties it up. 
one minute and 30 seconds, and uh, so far, a pretty, pretty equal match. Cooler is, uh, you know, just struck his way back into that, powered his way back into it with the rocket, picks up the red, 103 and 147 for Cooler. He'll make his way down, uh, CZM will just dodge out of view. CZM not in the greatest position to be fighting Cooler right now, but wants to get away. Comes forward with the LG, 100 and 125, Cooler still happy to hold off, happy to control, go for the, go for the mega health, it will be an exchange of rockets, double frag, neither of them will get it, machine gun out for Cooler, chasing down CZM in midair, he will be almost got it, no, CZM! Nice. with a machine. Nicely done. Very nicely done. 145.50 for CZM finishing him off with his machine gun. But is that going to be all he's going to be able to get a cooler outside the teleporter? And now CZM is forced to wait. He can't make the rocket jump, so he's going to pick up the shotgun and hope that cooler's not waiting for him. Let's check. Yeah, he's waiting. Right there he comes out, but he can't get the machine gun damage. If he would have waited just one more second. Oh, oh no! Oh, cooler pops him up in the air and CZM blows himself up. Two minutes. 32 seconds in this game and we got a tie game once again. Cooler will not let CZM pull away. Cooler is in buoyant mood and no one will stop him. He had to call home to say, I'm going to win this one and let's see whether his call was right. You, you know what? If you've ever seen Cooler give that really smug smile, I know that he had that on his glowing face when CZM blew himself up like, <laughs> and to three minutes now on the clock, we've got Cooler with this smug smile. It's two to two. Ooh, wow. He lands another nice rocket on CZM as he's waiting for that red armor. And now Cooler's just going to watch from the top. He drops another rocket on CZM and he goes through the teleporter. CZM, he's hurting just a little bit. He's at 69.42. Switch it back over to Cooler. He's at 185.45. That yellow armor is up and Cooler's going to wait for it. A lot of grenades coming down. He's going to fire a rocket of his own. And I think he counted those. He knew, but CZM. CZM jumps right towards Cooler, lands a grenade right in his face, but it's not going to do enough damage to take him out. He's still under 100, and the LG comes out. Cooler takes the lead, 3-2, three, 3 minutes and 39 seconds on the clock, and CZM's got his work cut out for him. Yes, he does, but what a game we have here. There is no one who can you know, exactly know how this one is going to go. We've had the lead exchange two or three times. Cooler now will do his level best to hold on to it. Wait, grab that Mega, 174, grabs the yellow as well, moving away, but CZM landing a lot of rockets there, Ooh. deflating that Mega and the yellow armor, 65 HP, Cooler spies the red rocket landing down in front of him, 65, 100, now the rocket from CZM, Cooler just gonna rocket jump out of there and pick up the 50 and get away with his life. I think that was a smart move by Cooler, he could have gone through the teleporter, but I think CZM was too smart for him, he, he would have been right there to, to finish him off, so he does make the rocket jump, sacrificing a little bit of armor and health, and there's the yellow for him. He's still in the lead 3-2. to two. We got 4 minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. He finds CZM with his back turned to him. Gets some more uh, shaft on him. And uh, CZM did pick up the Mega there. But already down to 78 points of health as Cooler was able to deplete that with his Lightning Gun. Looking for that yellow armor. Now I'm going to switch to CZM and I'm going to stay on for a while. We've got a fight here over by the grenade launcher. Jump at CZM down. He blows himself oh, oh, no. up and we have no score on that one. But we do have equalization and that may play in CZM's favor. It will, depends where he spawns. He's only got that shotgun, will spy that yellow armor, will collect, gets himself out of there before Cooler will uh, realize it. And now we're a question of where is Cooler because CZM is just lying in wait. Picked up the rocket, has that 50 in the yellow, and uh, will grab the LG. CZM just on the prowl now, realizes he's still that one frag down and must equalize this one back up. 5 minutes, 16 seconds on the clock. They're going to come around the corner. CZM takes the brunt of that battle. 40 points of health remaining. He's going to go to the 325s. He picks up two of them for 90 points of health. He's still down by one. Picks up another 50 and sees the yellow armor. He's going to grab that. He's now over. He sees that there uh, is a rocket launcher available. I thought he was going to go for that. I thought that's why he made the U-turn, but he did not. Waiting now for that Mega. He knows exactly where Cooler is, but Cooler has his eye on him as well. Let's switch over to him. Look at that health and armor. 170 6.50. CZM doing a great job chopping that up with the LG. And 5 minutes 50 seconds on the clock. He, this is just absolutely a fantastic game. There hasn't been a frag in about 2 minutes. And Cooler still has the lead. Oh, bad rocket jump there from Cooler. Will put himself in a bad position. CZM striking down from above. Cooler will get out of there. But you have to earn each and every one of these 5 frags we have had. And boy have they. Yellow armor picked up by Cooler. Still at 100 and 110. Moving himself away. 
towards by CZM. Rockets exchange there. LG coming forward from uh, from CZM. Still unable to do the damage, but that rocket will just pull the cooler away from CZM's face. Uh oh, and CZM makes the rocket jump up to the top. Cooler made the same one. 7152 for cooler after that rocket jump. Look at CZM. 171 136. Let's spy him for a while because he's certainly in a position to tie this game up. So far, a pretty low scoring game, but DM13 spawns a lot of low scoring games. Six minutes, 42 seconds on the clock. Shaft battle on the top of the rocket launcher bridge. CZM down to 43 points out, and Cooler leaves that oh, wow. situation because he only has 10 points out. CZM gets the shotgun kill and ties this game up three to three. He's now got 178 health and 32 armor, and we have got one hell of a game here. Seven minutes on the clock, 30 seconds away from halfway through. CZM's gonna make another rocket jump to the top, grab that yellow armor. He knows exactly where Cooler is at all times. And now Cooler, I think, is on the other side of the window. Before, he was fine, he was protected, nothing was gonna hurt him. And now, all of a sudden, uh, it, there's no glass in between these two. Three to three, this one's anyone's game. And he got used to it from DM6 as well, because he was in that very same position. He was in control. Yo, he stopped, you know, five minutes before, thinking he had it. Now it's a question of him having to come back like he tried on Hub. He's proven he can. The question is, though, how long does he have before CZM will be able to pull away? Because CZM is a player that will continue to go aggressive. I've not seen him go defensive once this tournament. It, it's very true and a very good question, too. Seven minutes, 47 seconds now, so we are more than halfway over. CZM with the armor health advantage. Actually, uh, Cooler has more armor, but now CZM, after grabbing that red, is going to be uh, more pumped up than Cooler at 142, 132. There's a mid-level to top-level shaft battle, and CZM even given a nice little nice bind there. He's at 3-3, three to three, still a tie game. This one could go defensive up until the 15-minute mark. Wouldn't it be great to see that and then end it in sudden death overtime? Well, all I want to know is why do we have an all-star game when we could have had a best of five final because that would have been something special. Yeah, there we that, go. That's true. LG battle CCM will drop down to that red armor. Will collect. He actually has no none red armor at all, but. The uh, Rockets will rain down, just ch chip away at that. He's only got 54 left up. There is CZM taking a lot of damage, 66 and 4. What a rocket there from Cooler. Crucial timing as well. CZM just spamming those grenades down to the Mega, moving his way across the, across the top of the level, rocket in hand, and uh, just can't lock Cooler down. LG coming forward from Cooler, 96 HP in for CZM. And now uh, CZM will try to give chase with those Rockets, but still cannot connect as Sula collects the red. CZM's lucky that that rocket launcher spawned there for him because he ran out of rockets and would have no way to give assault to Cooler as he went for that red armor. Nine minutes, two seconds on the clock. We got about six minutes left to go. CZM at 165, Cooler at 158, 180. And despite the fact that Cooler has had more health and armor pretty much this entire game, uh, CZM is still done. Hold on, we got a chat battle here in the Mega Room. Cooler's gonna grab that one, four to three, and finally all that health and armor, finally. It pays off. Nine minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. He grabs another red, and he's in good position to convert for one more. Yes, he is. Cooler will just hold off and try and lie and wait for CZM. The rockets just rain down at that yellow armor. He knows exactly where CZM is. Grab the, get, grabs the fives. No, he doesn't, in fact. As uh, now we see Cooler just dropping down. And uh, by CZM, back oh! turn, connect. And that's a beautiful strike down on CZM. And suddenly, a two-point lead to guess, Cooler. Guess what, Toss? That's why he didn't grab those fives because CZM would have heard those in the position that he was in and that was a very very smart move by Cooler and just goes to show how intelligent of two players we have got here on this final for the ESWC 2005. Now we've got 10 minutes on the clock so we've got five minutes left to go. Don't get too discouraged out there folks. Two frags on DM13 is totally capable of both of these players but the shaft comes out. Cooler gets the best damage on that one. CZM down to 71 points of health. He's spying that mega health Alco but there's nothing in it at the moment. He's going to drop some rockets down there, hoping he can get in once again. Where is Cooler? No one knows. He drops down from above to grab that Mega Health, and he forces CZM out once again. He's going to continue to rain some down rockets, and into the middle level, Cooler drops down, lands a rocket. Six to three is now the score, and CZM sees Cooler once again. We're going to have about four minutes remaining. Wow, Man, there's another cool one. Great that. conversion, seven to three. You want definition to back Getting to the wall? CZM's back is up against the granite here because Cooler is four away and with exactly four minutes to go, it's going to take a frag a minute from CZM. Doable, but against Cooler, it's that much harder. He's really going to have to get some lucky spawns, uh, just like Cooler had really on DM6. CZM looking for that frag, oh. but Cooler is going to get it. He's down to 50 points out. Can the machine gun do it? The job. 
44 points of health for Cooler. No, Cooler's going to stop on the middle level, grab himself that red armor, and make his way back to the middle. 11 minutes, 21 seconds, instantly going back to that mega yellow armor, up the jump pad to the grenade launcher room, and now firing away at that yellow armor over on the side on the top level. 11 minutes, 32 seconds on the clock. He still sees that that yellow armor's there and decides, yeah, now it's probably a good time to do it. He baited it before for CZM, and now he's going to drop down. CZM finds him. He lands one rocket. But, oh, oh no. does a backflip into the lava, losing a frag, 8-2, to two. he even gets himself a knife. Yeah, I mean, CZM thought he'd take this one on two maps. Cooler thought CZM would take this on two maps. We're on the third map, Cooler is in the lead. And with three minutes to go, Cooler's odds on favorites to win it, and who said he would? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not saying anything. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm worried. Three minutes left on the clock. 65, 79 for Cooler. He is in a vulnerable position. And uh, we're going to just see. Let's check out CDM 152. And he really needs a mega a power up. Uh, I, I, I hope you guys that don't have money on this game because it may be bad news for CZM. Everyone thought he was the surefire winner, but right now Cooler is showing that he has what it takes. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Can six frags be done? What do you guys think? Oh, they don't look too uh, confident. They, they don't want to say no because they don't want to believe that it could be true. CCM finds Cooler and once again he gets in his defensive position, but he gets oh, wow. the frag. Cooler is going to get it back on him, but that's going to equalize thing, and that will be a good thing for CZM going into the final two minutes of this matchup. CZM knows it's now or never with the equalizer, double frag there, and as he spams those rockets, picks up the Mega, will slowly make his way around uh, on top. Sees Cooler, now, now it's the LG oh. shots coming across from Cooler. CZM falls down to the lava, out for the count, and now it is not good news. No 10-3 to three with less than two minutes left to go. Cooler could be crowned your champion. Oh. CZM blows himself up. Now 10 to 2. What can you do? Eight frags deficit for these guys. One minute 37 seconds left on the clock. Cooler's gonna get another one. 11 to 2. Expect a good game from CCM here any moment because he already knows that he lost. Cooler will be your Quake 3 ESWC 2005 champion. Sorry, Cooler guys. for the win. Sorry, guys. Uh, 13 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. 1 minute, 15 seconds. Let's follow CZM and see if he can maybe get that one frag for you guys to finish this one up. As long as he, he can get that last lap, it'll be all good. 1 minute, 5 seconds left on the clock. He knows that CZM's in his defensive mode. And no, Cooler's still going to get it. 42-12 there for Cooler in health and armor. And it is now a 10-point game. So close. So close. And it's tied for free for such a long time. Now 13 to 2, but you know, CZM doesn't give up. 45 seconds left on the clock. There it is! CZM gets it 13 to 3. Will that be the last lap for CZM? He wants one more. He's not satisfied with just that one. He wants to give you guys two. And there is 30 seconds left on the clock. CZM still going after Cooler like there's a chance to play this game. And that's the kind of game that I like to see. No good games. No two-minute Jibo hub games. Nothing <laughs> like that. 20 seconds left on the clock. Cooler says good game. And, uh, man, I, I just want to see. Maybe Cooler will whip out some unbelievable half English, <laughs> half Russian comment after this one. But here is the final countdown as we go into the last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is it. Cooler is your winner. 13 to 3 is the final score. Do we have a. Uh, and I hate to say I told comment. you so at the start, but I said Cooler for the win. And not only did he win, but in the end, by 10 frags. 13 to 3. Very, very nicely done. He takes DM6. He takes uh, DM13. And he gets beat down on Hub.